I decided to make a quick video um, on this BLDC driver ZM7205A and this version has 0 to 10,000 RPM, 100, uh, 1,100 uh, watts and voltage input voltage is AC 80 to 230 so you know it can be it can be connected to mains and uh, it is connected here to this handheld intelligent setting unit BL01 so why I decided to make it because it's it's very difficult to find any description how how to connect this driver and how to program this driver through this uh, through this handheld uh, unit so this is the motor we, we will spin this is not not the greatest motor for uh, uh, for the driver because I believe this is a um, nine pole motor why I say I believe so there are 27 poles that has been rewinded into three phase so 27 divided by three phase so it's a nine uh, nine poles nine poles but again you know if you have some you know better information about um, about how to calculate the poles that would be that would be great because sometimes you know they're talking about motor in terms of uh, magnet motors you can see magnets are here so one two three and so on uh, sometimes you're talking about all poles together so like 27 in this case uh, and you know it's quite quite confusing so i really don't know how to properly calculate uh, motor poles but i believe it's nine because it's nine poles per uh, per phase so this is original one this is from yeah this motor is comes from uh, e-bike or hoover or something like that and uh, and I rewinded it uh, so you know every third every third uh, pole is a one phase and so on and uh, so that's three wires coming from this motor and they are connected here to U V and W um, here's another thing oh, it's even disconnected this is hull uh, sensors but i could not make uh, this this uh, driver runs with uh, with this hull uh, hull uh, sensors so so it's running you know on the settings it's running without that but anyway it's running and it's it's not the best for this this motor because that you can program maximum eight pole motors eight eight poles motor yeah and we have nine uh, which is it's running but you can see you know the the, the output which you will he see here is it shows higher rpm higher than actually it's spinning so we switch it on yeah okay we have a green light here yeah we press this knob and now we will <clears throat> configure it so in configuration we have a c e f h l p and u so we go in into mode and a is setting up rpm so let's say we want to spin this motor 2000 rpm so we have to with right arrow we have to go into 200 because this is the the, the count which you will you will set here uh, multiplied by 10 so we're going into 200 60 70 80 90 um, yeah. 200 so the, the rpm maximum rpm i will get here uh, is set up now for 2000 rpm okay next is c which is current 
uh, let's say this is small motor, so let's say two amps. Enter. Good. Next one is a constant torque. We don't want, um, in description they say, uh, you don't want to run you know, your motor on a constant torque all the time. So we will set it uh, on off. Okay. Uh, F, we're going on F. F is acceleration starting. So it's from one to 20 seconds. Yeah, F acceleration starting one to 20 seconds. So what does it mean? When we will accelerate the, the motor, it will either respond very quickly or you slowly, slowly um, speed up. So let's set up for two seconds. That will be fine. Then we have hull with or without. And this is, I'm always confused because it's, you know, in description I got, I managed to get, it's also like in both cases is off and it's a little bit confusing and I'm not sure if this is off and on or on, but if, let's say, let's do on. And uh, if this is a settings, I really can't remember now. Uh, if this is a settings with hull, dry, uh, hull, hull sensors, what will happen, it will throw error one uh, when I will start the motor. So, okay, let's leave it on for now. Um, then we go in into L. L is a closed loop or open loop operation. Closed loop, open loop of the operation. So there is a difference between um, behavior in open loop and closed loop. Uh, what I found when you set on open, what will happen, uh, the torque in, you know, you, you will set up, for example, like 1000 RPM. And when you will try to uh, apply some, some uh, brakes on the motor, what will happen, it will slow down. But if this is on a closed loop, we leave it on, then it will keep, you know, it will increase the torque, increase the amperage, and it will keep the same RPM. So we want this on. Okay. Enter. Now we have uh, P, which is square uh, wave or sine wave. We want square wave. I try to, you know, run it on sine wave and uh, driver doesn't like it. So let's leave it off <clears throat> and this is and now we're going into pole number so as i said this is you know in theory you can set it up up to 10 but it but look what will happen i will put nine because i believe this is nine and when when i will put enter it will show me eight anyway so that's it so it's it's configured now we do escape so here, you know, uh, potentiometer is connected and let's run it. Quite high vibrations. Okay. So let's Look, I will try to, you know, apply some, some uh, here, stop on the brakes on the on the motor, and it will not slow down. Yeah. So it's running now. So this is the way, you know, I'm setting up this this unit. You cannot let's slow it down. Let's stop it. Yeah, just for just for fun. Let's have a look. If I will go into, what's that? It's uh, L, L, and let's do off, which is uh, which is uh, uh, open open loop. Okay, escape, and let's start the engine. Motor runs, but when I will apply a stop, it slows down. Yeah. You can hear that. I still have a massive torque, but you know, it slows down. 
and it looks like I set it up properly the the H H setting with hull because well you see one is sticking out and uh, for some some reason doesn't want to you know doesn't want to work with this uh, hull sensors yeah but that's not a big deal so let's go back into hell again on okay escape <coughs> start I'm turning it here so that's in theory it shows me rpm but look okay let's set up on 1200 yeah something like that in reality let's see how what rpm i will have one that whoops set it up One thousand seventy-seven. Yeah. So this is because um, poll number is on eight and it's not on nine. If I will set it up on six, it still will run, but it, it will be even slower. So that's that's the problem. When you press during the operation this mode set, it will show you amperage. So now it takes 130 uh, milliamps. And that's it. You, you know, there, there is a... Uh, let's stop it. The, the, there is a... Uh, like a default settings on this driver. But... Yeah, you, you know, you want to connect different motors. So, so you have to have... You, you need to have with this, uh, with this handheld... Oh, this funny name handheld intelligent setting unit yeah to to program it you know for to your need need okay so i you know i hope that's helpful okay thank you